Well, topping our news, we're hearing from the mother of the young man killed Friday night in Sims. Tonight, Zykorian Harris's family calling not only for justice, but an end to the violence. It's two days into the homicide investigation at a Sims beauty supply store. Investigators say 20 year old Zykorian Harris shot and killed by Daniel Holloway Jr. Zykorian's mother says it's the result of an ongoing custody battle. This has been going on. I have the threats. I have plenty of threats. According to Porcina Harris, her son went up to the Sims Walmart Friday night when he saw his seven month old son alone in the car. Investigators say the mother of the child and her boyfriend, Daniel Holloway, were in her place of employment, K and G Beauty Supply in the same shopping strip. He was inside of the vehicle for 30 minutes. An eyewitness told me before my son even showed up on the scene uh, by himself. So when my son showed up, he's a concerned dad. All he did was saw the baby in the car, went inside. Inside the store, deputies say an altercation unfolded with Holloway pulling out a gun and shooting Zykorian in the chest. He'd later die outside the store despite attempts to perform CPR. It's crazy that, you know, I wasn't even here to have a chance to try to tell him don't go out there or, you know, to stay in the house or, you know, leave it alone. I didn't have a chance to try to save him or nothing. Holloway initially left the scene to return a short time later and was arrested by Sims police. While he's accused of pulling the trigger, Porcina believes others played a role in what led up to her son's death. The young man and my son were good boys. I'm not, yes, I'm mad at Daniel. You damn right I'm mad at Daniel. You took my long, you took my child. But baby, he was a good child too. I'm not gonna speak bad about that young man because he was a good boy. Sykorian was a 2021 blunt basketball standout. While dreams of enrolling in college are now gone, his mother doesn't want his death to be in vain. Please, please guys, do not retaliate. Please don't take another soul. Please do not retaliate. It starts at home. See, if we don't get this message out to everybody, we're gonna keep doing this newscast. I don't wanna keep watching the same story. This is a repeat story. It needs to stop now. Holloway has a bond hearing set for tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, Zykorian is set to be laid to rest February 18th. Following his service, they plan to do a stop the violence walk. The family also has a GoFundMe page set up to help with funeral expenses. If you'd like to help, we have a link inside this story at fox10tv.com.